Step back in time to the 1960s when the small town charm of Maybury unfolded on television screens with The Andy Griffith Show. The classic series, led by the affable sheriff Andy Taylor and his endearing son Opie, offered a simple yet heartwarming glimpse into rural life. But hold on, folks, there's more to the show than meets the eye. Behind the laughter and idyllic settings lie funny, surprising, and even somber tales waiting to be unraveled. So keep your eyes peeled because we've got a bunch of interesting facts headed your way. Now, let me ask you this. Can you recall a personal story where the show left a lasting impression on your life? Maybe a moment that lingered in your thoughts, making you smile or reflect? We're eager to hear your experiences, so don't be shy. Share them in the comments below. As you continue your journey through Maybury, keep an eye out for those scenes that tug at your heartstrings. Is there a particular moment that resonated with you, one that you carry with you long after the episode concludes? Let us know. And speaking of sharing, we're not just here to spill the beans, we want to hear from you too. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to the show? Your stories add another layer to the fabric of The Andy Griffith Show. So, fellow fans, the stage is set. Get ready to reminisce, laugh, and maybe shed a tear or two. Your stories and memories are the missing puzzle pieces in this Maybury tapestry. Share them below and let's keep the nostalgia alive. The Andy Griffith Show, a timeless classic from 1960s television, left an indelible impression on culture, extending beyond the quaint town of Maybury. Sheriff Andy Taylor, accompanied by his son Opie, captivated audiences with the charm and humor of small-town life. However, its significance goes beyond mere entertainment, becoming woven into the fabric of popular culture. During its original run, the show garnered widespread praise, becoming a beloved presence in American households. Its mix of humor and heartwarming stories resonated deeply, evoking nostalgia for a simpler time. The relatable characters, such as the well-intentioned but clumsy Barney Fife, endeared themselves to viewers, creating lasting memories that persisted beyond the show's airing. This cultural impact manifested in various ways, with spin-offs serving as proof of the show's lasting popularity. Maybury RFD, a direct spin-off, carried on the legacy after the Andy Griffith show ended, maintaining a connection to the beloved Maybury community. Furthermore, characters like Gomer Pyle and Otis Campbell got their own spin-off series, further expanding the show's influence. Beyond television, The Andy Griffith Show inspired a range of merchandise, from board games to lunchboxes, solidifying its place in fans' hearts. The show's influence extended to literature, with books inspired by its characters and stories. Adaptations and tributes to The Andy Griffith Show continued to emerge, showcasing its enduring legacy. The universal themes of friendship, family, and community struck a chord that withstands the passage of time. Decades after its original run, the echoes of Maybury and its lovable inhabitants persist, reminding us of the impact a sincere portrayal of life can have on collective memory. In conclusion, The Andy Griffith Show's reception wasn't just a fleeting television success. Its impact on popular culture, evident in spin-offs, merchandise, and ongoing adaptations, cements its status as a cultural touchstone, weaving a narrative that continues to connect with audiences generation after generation. In the early days of The Andy Griffith Show, something interesting happened in the town of Maybury. Next to Floyd's barber shop, there was a beauty shop, sharing a wall with a door that nobody seemed to notice in the first season. The door had Beauty Shop written on it, but by the end of the first season, those words disappeared, leaving a mystery. In the second season, the Beauty Shop was gone, replaced by a TV repair shop. The mysterious door made its final appearance in The Clubman, and six weeks later, in The Manicurist, it vanished without anyone mentioning it. After Howard McNear left the show, Floyd's barber shop changed into Emmett's Fix-It Shop. This shift reflected the changing nature of the small town setting in Maybury. Barney Fife, known for his unique fashion choices, made a mark on the show's look. When going out for a date or a formal event, Barney often wore a white straw hat, a salt and pepper patterned coat, and a red bow tie. Interestingly, Don Knotts, the actor playing Barney Fife, continued to wear a similar suit in his movies after leaving the series. This outfit appeared in films like The Ghost and Mr. Chicken, The Reluctant Astronaut, The Incredible Mr. Limpet, and How to Frame a Fig. These small changes and interesting details add depth to the Andy Griffith show's story, giving fans a peek into the evolving world of Mayberry and its characters. 
The show's ability to adapt and introduce new things shows why it continues to be loved by many. Opie Taylor's namesake, Opie Cates, was a famous band leader in the 1930s and 1940s, and both Andy Griffith and Sheldon Leonard, the show's producer, admired him. This subtle reference to a musical expert adds an interesting layer to the character's origins. Gavin McLeod made two guest appearances on the series that connect to a fascinating story involving Andy's mention in a magazine article titled Sheriff Without a Gun. In one episode, McLeod plays a bank robber pretending to be a TV producer, using the article as a cover to rob the Maybury Bank. In another, he acts as an actor set to play Andy in a movie based on the same article, showcasing the show's clever storytelling twists. Sheriff Andy Taylor's clothing choices set him apart from the typical lawman look. Although he didn't usually wear a hat, necktie, or sidearm, there were exceptions. Special situations like VIP visits or tracking an escaped convict led him to wear these items. Interestingly, Andy's on-screen smoking was rare, occurring in only a few episodes, demonstrating a deliberate choice in character portrayal. The changing details of Maybury are visible in the series. A mysterious door next to Floyd's barber shop, initially labeled Beauty Shop, disappeared without explanation after the first season, later replaced by a TV repair shop. The show's ability to adapt and introduce new elements reflects the changing nature of the small town setting. Barney Fife's unique fashion choices became a notable part of the show. His distinct white straw hat, salt and pepper patterned coat, and red bow tie added humor to formal events. Don Knotts, the actor behind Barney, continued to embrace a similar style in his post-series movies, creating a lasting connection between the actor and his character. In the ever-changing world of Maybury, these small yet interesting details and adaptations contribute to the timeless charm of the Andy Griffith show. They provide fans with insight into the show's evolution, making it a classic that continues to connect with audiences. The four darling sons in The Andy Griffith Show, portrayed by Doug Dillard, Rodney Dillard, Dean Webb, and Mitch Jane, were members of the Dillards, a bluegrass group. Andy Griffith himself later joined them for a performance on the show. Meanwhile, the opening credits underwent slight expansions during the original network run. Following Opie's rock toss into the lake, the shot transitioned to water rippling, revealing the sponsor's product logo. Before Aunt Bee's arrival, Andy had a housekeeper named Rose. Andy officiated her wedding ceremony in an episode aptly titled The New Housekeeper. This small town life narrative of Mayberry holds more secrets like the disappearance of a beauty shop door next to Floyd's barber shop after the first season. In the second season, it transformed into a TV repair shop showcasing the evolving nature of Mayberry. Barney Fife's quirky fashion choices left an imprint on the show's look. When attending formal events, Barney sported a unique ensemble, a white straw hat, a salt and pepper patterned coat, and a red bow tie. Remarkably, Don Knotts continued to wear a similar suit in post-series movies, creating a lasting link between the actor and his character. Opie Taylor's namesake, Opie Cates, a famous band leader in the 1930s and 1940s, added an intriguing layer to the character's origins. Gavin McLeod's guest appearances led to clever storytelling twists, including a bank robbery cover-up and an actor set to play Andy in a movie. Sheriff Andy Taylor's atypical clothing choices and rare on-screen smoking reflect deliberate character portrayal decisions. In the ever-changing world of Mayberry, these subtle details and adaptations contribute to the timeless charm of the Andy Griffith show, connecting with audiences across generations.